All right, guys, let's build some draw bolts here, huh? These are for my uh, new butcher block countertops. All right, guys. I don't know if you you guys have uh, been aware of this or not, but I've been, uh, you know, renovating my kitchen for uh, the majority of this last year since since January. Boy, I tell you what, it just isn't going fast enough. <laughs> anyway, never does, I suppose. Anyway, I'm building butcher block. In fact, the tool score and the uh, taper attachment videos that are, you know, uh, playing shortly, or maybe even before this, uh, were filmed, you know, with that butcher block sitting underneath the, the stuff. Anyway, uh, I went to the store to get some bolts to draw up the corners. And my lord, they wanted like a dollar fifty a piece. And it's just a quarter inch screw with uh, two small plates, and one of them was threaded. That just seems ridiculous to me. So I went over to the, you know, just down the aisle a little ways, and I found these quarter inch by, uh, I think these are, yeah, three inches, 22 cents a piece. That's pretty cheap. And I found this piece of bar, which is just, and this is actually really overpriced too, but it's three quarter inches wide, three sixteenths thick, three feet long. That was about $6, I think. All the bolts here were $5. I don't really need any washers because one of these is going to act a washer on one side and the other one will act as a bolt on the other. So I figured, well, this would make a pretty easy little project here. So I've got a little saddle square here. Just happens to be two inches wide. This bar is long enough to make enough for two plates for each of these. So let's let's cut this up and we'll drill and tap some holes in here. All right, guys, that was, uh, eh, five minutes of sawing. Too much of that's liable to wear a guy out. But anyway, so there's 16 bars. Let's uh, mark these things out, and then we'll head over to the drill press and start making some holes. All right, guys, just got a file here. Just going to de deburr this here a little bit from the, the hacksaw. I don't want to get cut up none. The important step. Skip that. <laughs> you might regret it. Alright. Easy enough. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go through all those parts and we'll come back on the next part. Alright, guys. This is a... Uh... This is pretty basic stuff here. This thing doesn't need to be super accurate, so I'm just going to use a, you know, use a square here. I'm going to lay it out on the center. That's one inch from the end. And we're three quarters, so we've got to go three eighths. And again, this is no kind of a precision operation, so we're just going to kind of mark it pretty close. All right, so we got our center marked. Grab my center punch here. We're just gonna mark one. All right, we got, I think, 16 of these things. Let's see if I can get it where you guys can see what's going on. We got 16 of these things to make. All right. All right, that's a pretty good punch mark. 
<clears throat> so I got these toe clamps here set where I can move them around. So we're going to come in. I'm just going to let that drill bit kind of find the center for me. You can get a lot more accurate with this if you wanted to, but again, you know, nothing's important here. So you, there's no need to spend all day figuring this stuff out. Still on there. Yep, that's good. And that one in where it touches. And these are, once I get these set up, be able to just drop each part in. Should hit the same exact hole every time. Just like when you're trying to drill into a piece of round bar or something like that, you should try to get three points of contact. Oh, come on. Get this guy here. I just got nuts on the back side, so it's kind of not wanting to, not wanting to grab. All right. Those ain't going nowhere. Just kind of double check it. All right. I think that's good. And so this thing don't try to lift away on me. We've got that clamp and that's a pretty bolt proof setup. Ain't nothing going to go nowhere. All right. Cutting oil never hurt nothing. Maybe I'll move this out of your way here. And I don't know if you guys seen the video, but this is a little spill proof can that I built out of a, it's a fancy heat. It's kind of like Sterno, but uh, the center of this thing actually will, will take a, uh, what do you call it? Like a freeze plug will fit right in there. All right, so we're gonna punch eight of these quarter inch. Well, we're gonna check the first one and just make sure that uh, that the bolt actually does fit through this quarter inch bolt hole. Anybody see a problem here? I just realized I hadn't taken my jewelry off. Uh, you know, it sure is an easy thing to forget. You get so used to wearing it, but you know, take this stuff off. You don't want to lose your fingers or nothing crazy like that. All right, we got our number seven tap drill in here. Let's go ahead and drill some of these. Almost got to test out that spill proof can. All right, well, I figure maybe we might as well just go ahead and see how fast we can drill through this stuff. Hopefully we don't catch in the 
the part again. All right, that well, wasn't too long. I'll have to look and see how much time that took. All right, okay, we're gonna have to tear this down and, uh, or well, you know, get to a different drill bit. We gotta find the uh, proper size for a quarter 20. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys. <clears throat> Let's, uh, Deeper some holes here. All right, let's get ready to tap some holes. All right, guys, I got my quarter 20 tap here. And I did one of these already off camera, but boy, it sure is tight. I'll try not to block your, your view. This one seems like it's going a little bit better. to break the tab off. on through there. All right. Get all the chips off here for the next one. I'll get a little bit of oil on there too. See how it uh, how the screw fits. I don't know why this is uh, so stiff. I mean, it threads in there. Maybe it's just a. Uh, Seems like it ought to go through a easier than that, don't it? Awful tight threads. And we just got a bunch of crud in the hole. And it's going through it. Quarter inch twenty. Use the number seven drill. There's the number seven drill. All right, it's really tight, but it does thread in. Maybe it's uh, 
maybe in steel or something we should be using a different size drill bit with a little bit more clearance I don't know I'll have to research that I guess well anyway I'm gonna do this here on uh, the rest of them and that's just about it so I'll probably come back and show you everything sort of done all right everybody well here we go I got them all finished now and they're, they're working pretty good now would you believe you can't even trust hardware at the hardware store no more uh, these things were fitting really really tight and I couldn't figure out what was you know it was damaging the threads I mean I had no idea what was going on here it's finally you know I I just ran a tap through this piece of steel so I grabbed a die the right size and chased these threads a couple of them, man, like I had to, I had to get a wrench to, to be able to turn to die. Uh, you know, the, that's pretty sad when you can't get a piece of hardware that will actually fit into a nut, uh, or maybe their tolerances are just that sloppy, I suppose. But anyway, I got them fixed now. So, anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for this. Uh, this whole project is done now. Uh, so anyway, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, go ahead and click on the uh, subscribe button. I'm trying to post every week, and uh, you know, please leave comments. You know, uh, it's always good to be talking back and forth to people. Met a lot of good people on on YouTube. Anyway, see you all around.